good? Yeah. Yo, what's great in the States? It is the radio rap star, your favorite DJ's, favorite DJ's, favorite wrestling DJ, the fifth, one, two, three, four, fifth RWC television champion, and the voice of choice that makes the ladies noise. G Money's in the house, watch your mouth. I got my man. Look, we're going to get to him because we know who he is. This is my brother from another mother right here. Mr. Everything, Everything, Victor Andrews. <laughs> We're at the 12th annual Fleet DJs Music Conference. And this brother right here, right here, he needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. Give me one. I'm going to give him one, man. First off, he's the suntan Superman. You know what I'm saying? He is the only mm -hmm. African American NWA heavyweight champion. Multiple time champion in TNA, WWE, the most entertaining person, period. That's period. Okay, oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Entertaining person, period, that ever stepped through those doors. And I thought I was. A little Jimmy's outside, so we will get to that later. Yeah, he works security. You know what I'm saying? This right here, Ron, the truth. Our truth killings is in the building, man. Oh, man. How you doing, my brother? I'm great. I'm good. Always. How man. about y'all? Oh, amazing. Great. Amazing. Man, can't get no better than sitting next to you right now. Oh, I appreciate it, my Seriously. guy. That's what's up. I appreciate you, man. Absolutely. Look, man. My man's got a lot of things going on. And look, before we even talk about the music, because we got to get into the music, I want you to see. This is one of my playlists. I want you to see that right there. Ah, uh, you got legacy on so there? So I just want you to know ah, yeah, that this is job. real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a huge Yeah, yeah man. I'm my game is fast and all up on your mind like a classic. Hook around the rear, feel like magic. I'm gonna make them cute like a bird box. All up in the group, I deserve that. Money going, like, ooh, listen to everybody. I ain't worried about it. Make you nervous, don't it? Only family matter, ain't no Urkel on it. Jumping out the roof, I put a hurting on them. Think you never know, they got the work up on it. I'm gonna go and get it because I really want it. Take the back seats where the cash go. Boss it on, call it cash flow. Mm. Money train, money train. Let them know we're here. Give them something to ask for. Come on. Mm. 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 Look, 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 look. Hey, hey. What's that? I don't rap, I act. So after these messages, we'll be right back. That's what oh. I got. Oh. That's what I got. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No hey, shut, it shut it down. Shut it down. Oh my God. I love it. Bro. So look, I love that song. I love the video. Yeah, that's yeah. one of my favorite songs. Oh, absolutely. One of my favorite ones off the uh, that was on a small EP we did. And, um, we got a bunch of good songs, man, but Legacy, like, uh, what went into it is pretty much, uh, it, it says a lot. It's one of my, like, uh, more, uh, I feel that song more than the one we did. Man. Video was like, oh, my gosh, it was a whole, what, almost a day and a half to shoot the video? Really? Mm -hmm. Bro. Because that, yeah, there was a lot going on. I'll tell you something <laughs> funny about it. Yeah, and it was like, I didn't even know how much, like, um, you know, trying to get the video played in certain spots. I'm like, oh, it's so violent. It's not, what? Yeah. They said it was violent. Ain't no way. You ain't seen that one gun in there, though. You know what no, I'm saying? No, that's what I'm saying. But like, it was, I get it. It's a lot of fighting. You know what I'm saying? They just fighting and slapping people. But um, it was just done, man. With like, uh, me and Jay Tracks, my producer, was just us. And that was one of our biggest projects we did. Like, I went all out for Legacy, man. We rented the castle. Yeah. We rented the, uh, it was a place outside of Georgia that had the Western scene. Mm -hmm. They had a whole Western town that would just make a lot of people come shoot movies there and everything. Wow. Yeah, so I'll be out of found it. We went there, man. I got thrown off a horse. The horse didn't like me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a lot that went on in that video shoot. Uh, the chain mail I had on. The yeah. Dog. Legit was real. Oh, was it? Bro, that was like 60, 70 pounds, man. I got, oh, bro. We had to shoot, and mm -hmm. I was getting mad. And like, me and Jay Tracks was like, oh, was like, we were like, big brother, little brother. Like, like right? he said, like, bro, what's your idea? I'm like, yeah, but you didn't tell me it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, why you bro, gonna let me do this? Gonna, yeah, bro, man, it was um, it's one of my more videos, man, that I just like. Uh, I'm passionate about legacy. So for you to like that, oh, like, that's dope. That one, that one really stood out the most. And like you said, it's on the, it's, it's on my playlist. Like uh, when my when my my man Daniel was like, "Our truth, legacy." Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So it's yeah, not a game yeah. out here, bro. And look, I hear you got new music out, man. Tell oh, us about that, bro. Uh, or coming out, excuse me. Since the injury, man, um, just coming back off a of quad uh, surgery, had three surgeries, two my quad, two that got infected, blah blah blah, went to wound, man. So like uh, three surgeries out, two pig lines. 
we found time, we made time within time to like um, record and do a whole new album. And bro, we did it by being in two different places. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's just like that determination that like we're gonna get this done it's one way or the other. Um, tracks in Atlanta, I mean Charlotte, man, we did with this uh, thing we used to call Muse, mm-hmm. and um, he controlled my computer from his house. Right. Like, okay. Yeah. The remote joint. Remote joint. Yeah. Yeah. Joint. yeah. yeah so, um, bro, and it had a delay because we hadn't we didn't really perfect it good, but we perfected enough to like okay, like you know if you're charging something, you gotta hold right here. You ain't gonna move until you get a good charge now. So we pretty much did that through the whole album. Mm-hmm. And he got it done, dog. Okay. And we got some like, I'm talking about like some bangers that I'm not even gonna wait on because like we wanna blow the door off when I come back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Yeah, bangers. That's wild. So this is like some sitting up, recouping, getting ready, going through PT, now I'm ready to come out, you know what I'm saying? Let it all hang out now. Fire. Yeah. Okay. Big fire. So, so a question. Between the wrestling, and the music like because both of them are avenues for creativity but right. which which one do you feel more proud of or is there a difference there's not a difference um because they're both being acknowledged uh acknowledgement to me dog is like you know my dog roman you know yeah. he said you know acknowledge this net acknowledgement is just key dog like um let me show you the power dog like i can go somewhere and sign my name on a piece of paper and people pay for it that's um uh, that's powerful to me. So to acknowledge my music and my rap and my wrestling career, like you know my career, you know yep. what I'm saying. Everything. Being the first black ever, like yeah. that's acknowledgement. To acknowledge the music legacy, it's acknowledgement. It, it, it go hand in hand. And nine out of my ten, you gonna have a wrestler come out with just some music. Mm-hmm. Even doing a ball game or whatever, you gonna hear some music. So music right. just goes. I can't pick one or the other, man. It's almost like. You gonna wear drawers or not? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping. I you swear, I don't know about some drawers. <laughs> <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? You feel me, dog? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Some people don't. Yeah, that look. Right. Hey, to teach his own and own his each. Yeah, but you got funny though, right? Absolutely. Right. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Right. I never met you happy. Well, Mr. Everything Best. Do y'all, y'all, y'all use a wash rag or no? Absolutely. I use a, a loofah. The pool thing? That one's on me, dog. My bad. <laughs> I'm not bougie. Yeah, I'm not, bro. It's a dollar, bro. Yeah. I'm not bougie. Nah, dog. If anything, if anything, yeah. I'm more cautious. You need to get a rag, you, you bro. Two, of them. two. One for the body, one for the face. Oh, well, definitely. You always got a separate face rag. Nah. Gotta have a separate you gotta face, be, right? Bro, you got to be you. Be real. You no. Be real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. What is that? What does he say? What does he say? What does he Ain't nobody oh going to know, bro. Who going to know? You my girls right. don't know. No, she won't. Everyone knows. She don't, she don't ask you that. Why your nose stink? No, 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 but you should have soap on that rag to where it shouldn't. It's all that it's been washed. Mm-hmm. It's wash been washed, face. yeah, right? Absolutely. So wash you can use the same rag, huh? Yeah, wash yeah. your face first. That's what you gotta do. Watch boom. Mm-hmm. What is it? Boom. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is about to go completely left. But I'm going I'm here for it though. Uh-huh. I'm here for it. Okay. Because if you wash your face he first he and then wash your the butt, then next time you wash your face first, you still got the butt on it. <laughs> but you got a loop, but it's so clean. You got but, uh, yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> Even if you wash your face first, that loop is, is, it? is sanitized <laughs> in some kind of way. It, 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 it's exfoliating. <laughs> <Damn, laughs> all, all of them leave with 2,000 bucks. Damn, bro. Oh, man. Well, Mr. I'm Everything, dead. Best Damn Wrestling Podcast, dead. I got a question for you. Since you are <laughs> talking about you rehabbing, uh, you're feeling good, you're feeling better, mm-hmm. you're getting ready to make a return. Are we going to hear new music? As you get ready to do your entrance. I was about to ask that. We about oh, coming to the ring? Absolutely. No, man. No? Nah, dog. No, no, no. It's no, always no, 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 Gotta no. be one side. But, but I understand. I this. understand why. Let me ask you this right here. I understand. When you hear that dong, who's coming out? Undertaker. When you hear that grass break, who's coming out? Stone Cold. When you hear that, can you smell who's coming out? The Rock. Why would I change my music from what's up, dog? Absolutely. Why would I change it? You know who's coming out. You know who told me that? Stone Cold Steve Austin. People over there with Stone. He told me that. Because um, I was getting from a lot of fans. Like, oh, he ain't gonna change music, he gonna change the music. I was just like, why would you change your ring music? He said, that's, that let people know who you are. 
He said, you've been having that music for years. He said, more people know that song than any new song you're going to put out to identify who you are coming out. He said, never change your ring music. He said, you think Taylor's going to change his, uh, that uh, bell band? No. You think I'm going to change my He said, no. So it's like, why fix something that's not broken? Absolutely. Well, myself as a wrestler and G Money as a wrestler as well, I know it's pretty hard to find that right music that fits you whenever you walk out. So it how is. did you know it that is. what's up was it? Right. When I got the response, I got back. When I got the, um, and a lot of people did produce that in my son's bedroom. Mm -hmm. mm. And um, <laughs> first time they let me do it on TNA, man, it was just the response I got back from was like, oh, wow. It's, and they were still saying it afterwards. The next week I did the same afterwards. And it got over so much the last two years at TNA, when I came out to WWE, Vince told me, yeah, use that. Yeah. Because it was, they use, you pretty much said what it is. That, that's that's yours. And it works. It's, right. I could never change it. Gotcha. One more question for me. We're going to yeah. transition from wrestling to the music. Mm -hmm. Born yard flexing. You ride with that. Man, listen. You ride with it, dog. Man, listen. <laughs> I don't look. Line dancing for me when yeah. I moved to, to North Carolina <laughs> from New York, I was like, what is that? What are they doing? Come on. Right, right, after right, a while, right. it grew on me, and it's like, now it's the it's the go-to music that gets the the party hype. Yes, it gets people out of the seats. It get, gets them moving. And, and it doesn't matter what color you are, what race you are, what gender, anything. Everybody's kind of coming together. Yeah. So how did you know that Barnyard Flexing was going to be the movement that did that? that did that? Man, Barnyard Flexing came about, uh, I was supposed to do a song with, uh, you heard of Black O'Brien? Yes. Yeah, get up, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Well, Black Oak came to one of the shows, and we decided, like, oh, we're going to do something 24 7 title. Um, actually, we were going to do something where I did something at one of his concerts, mm -hmm. and I was bringing him to WWE to do something, you know what I'm saying? To mix that crowd up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, we do a song together. And it went from us doing a song together, but he went off on tour. And it took a while like, to get back to him. He, like a, he was going for like a week, but I'm not going to be back on time soon. So I told Trice, I'm like, hey, dog, uh, Black Oak's coming back right now. He said, man, just do your own country song. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, let's do one. Let's do one of the, you know what I'm saying? We just start spitballing ideas. Let's do one that um, people can dance to. I'm like, why dance? He's like, yeah, that'd be dope. Like, so me and Trax is pretty much like legit, man. Like, like a pop and Dre, like uh, Batman and Robin. Like, okay. Like, I can tell you. I'm like, we'll be tight. We'll be tight. Who's tight? Who's tight? I was going to say, who's tight? Yeah. I'm tight. Hold up. Uh, you about to jump in the uh, video, first off. Yeah, I'm man. Like, but, all right, y'all get back to the But, uh, yeah, man, Barnyard Flexing, man. From Barnyard Flexing to Legacy to uh, what it is to all the music you've heard from me, man, that, that's, been, that's been coming out. It's just a collaboration of myself and Jay Trax. And um, no machine, nobody else behind me but us. And um, about some of the like Barnyard, we laugh and joke about some of the stuff we do, and we jot it down, and we come back and put it into a song. Mm. With real life, real energy, real everything, real, you know what I'm saying? Right. So if you listen to all the songs, pretty much talking about what's going on today. Right. Or how you feel today, or at that time, or, or what you want to be doing, or what you're trying to do. That's what my music's talking about. It ain't nothing else that's out the box, that, that bullshit. I ain't talking about that. Because right. you're going to go through that. I let them give you that. I want to give you something else. Mm. I'm going to give you these jewels, give you that work to go make your own work. You know what I'm saying? Well, absolutely. Good shit. That's dope. So look, Foxy 99, based out of favor of North Carolina. You know, you're from Charlotte. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? QC in the building. And whenever, I, I said this to you off uh, before we started, anytime WWE comes to Fayetteville, you know, I always get to interview a, a superstar. I interviewed you, I believe it was back in 2012. And I just said all that to say, Carolina love you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? like. There's a lot of there's a few people that come to mind when people talk about North Carolina wrestling. You get like you got the Hardy Boys, you got you know you got your Ric Flair's. But there's also the R Truth man. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot of love for you here, and they just they they fuck with you real heavy. They do, though, and I appreciate that, man. And um, again, that's something you can't even like um, you can't even fathom to grab the the appreciation, the gratitude, the. It just gives me that, that energy, man, to keep doing what I'm doing. It gives me that confirmation that what I've done and what I'm doing is right. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It just, it fuels my fire, bro. That's all it does to me. Bro, I remember 
like you starting out, it's, it's one thing that you're as entertaining as you are, but at the time you were one of the absolute most athletic people we've ever seen. When you hit, you hit moves and you're spinning, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, like how, <laughs> like, I mean, like what type of training did you have in the beginning, like before you started wrestling? Because you do a lot of things that people still can't do half your age. Yeah, like, that's, uh, that's a blessing of God. Though. I just, I believe it. I just think it. I do it. I just. Ultra instinct. Yeah. That's what it Coach is. Coach instinct. Ultra instinct. That's it. I, I, I like, like that, man. We always, we was here about making stuff your own. Instinct, we like this. Do doing it without instinct. <laughs> <laughs> God, I know you talking about draw or dirty. I didn't know. You was talking about like, draw. No, no, y'all talk about that. No, you were talking about draw. Y'all talking about force. not wearing draws. And y'all talking about like all the, not washing with wash rags. Run, run the table. Like Let the me ask you this. And I told you I won't do this. Do y'all use baby wipes? <laughs> I actually, I got some in the car. I got dude wipes in the yeah, car. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. you do you use them? Dude okay. Wipes. Do you use them? You use them at home, right? Mm hmm. Do you use them when you're away from home? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, what, that's the main that's reason why I got them. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. Look, real quick. We know we know you should be coming off an injury real soon. WWE, what are you? What are your goals for your next return? Man, I'm taking off everything. I don't know if I'm going back to WWE to slap everybody uh, or hug everybody. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm going back. You know what I'm saying? When I come in the industry, the music industry, I'm kicking the doors in. I'm um, pretty much showing them how it should be done. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really gonna be all me. I'm coming back with a vengeance. I'm coming back, reinventing myself. I'm coming back, laying it down, scrapping it, stealing it, delivering it. I'm just coming back badass on fire. Yes, sir. I don't want to talk about it too much. But I just want to like show y'all. You know absolutely. absolutely. Then you've always been showing us, bro. Uh, How you started to now, you've been showing us. One last question for me, and then I'll let you get back to yeah. it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there. Throw it out there. R-Truth mm -hmm. versus Victor Andrews. Oh! Oh! Versus G-Money! <coughs> Excuse me. He ain't slapped him yet? <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm? I'm sorry. You ain't slapped him yet? Nah, he cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get Victor to play my music, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. But on real, real question, do you train or do you look to try to, try to um, train some young wrestlers? I'm thinking like later in my career, mm -hmm. I probably will. I, I will and I, I better open up a school the whole nine. Mm. But like right now, man, like I also got a movie I'm about to film too. So it's like with me trying to wear all of these different hats and be a father and be a husband. And, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot on my plate. I haven't even started touring yet. Mm. But I want to like I don't tell y'all and y'all promoters anyway. Like I'm ready to start up in these roads. I want to like um I want to do this for real. It's not like I ain't just talking about this or, or just doing this for no cloud or whatever i'm known worldwide mm -hmm. i want them to really listen to what i got it's just music is like it's real with me you know what i'm saying right so like i'm just ready to do this absolutely bro we know you got music coming out man and the, all the other music where can they find you where can they find the music websites plug all that y'all can find me put in ron killings one twitter instagram TikTok, facebook Put in Ron Killings one, but you might have to put in just Ron Killing. It's just my face. Y'all know me. You know what I'm saying? It'd be me up there. I might be like this, or I might be sideways with a hat on. But it's me. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. And the official ronkillings.com. Go to the website. You can check out everything, all that. If you want to book me for something, go to ronkillingsbookings at gmail.com. Boom. What about your man, J Tracks? Oh, that's what's, what's, what's his uh, social media? All this stuff. Uh, JTP now at gmail.com. Hit him up if you want to inquire with me about anything. Or uh, J Tracks. Uh, what's your. Uh, the official JTRX. The official JTRX. Two of you, dude. Check us out. Yes. We definitely appreciate you, man. It's been nothing but love. You already know what's going down. Foxy 99, Smash the Mac. Got my man Victor Andrews. Best down got, some podcast. That's right. Absolutely. You got the Go legend on. right here. Ronda Truth Killings, man. This has been. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. How did you find out about the Fleet DJs? That's what I meant to ask. How did you find this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Fleet DJs, 12th annual, brother. Like, we've been coming to these conferences crazy, all this time. Man. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. Last question, I swear. Um, well, I've been doing the Fleet DJ, like, uh, listening thing where, you know, we do the Zoom call and yeah. check out my stuff, man. Um, 
track to myself. We made friends with Kim, man. Ah. And um, Kim pretty much, um, she's the she's the most <laughs> right now. Yeah. Shout out to Kim. Kim. We love you. Yes, <laughs> indeed. We love you, Kim. This is super dope. Now. Now it's officially over. <laughs> yeah. All right, we know my man's got stuff to do. You already know what's going down. Thank you for tuning in. G Money's in the house. Watch your mouth. We out here. Oh.